Hey guys, this is Alex from Trademate Sports and Odds Hero, and welcome to video three in our series of people who got rich from sports betting. Today, I'll be talking about a bloke named Haralabas Volgaris, or better known as Bob. Bob is best known as the NBA's greatest better, making millions of dollars from the biggest basketball league in the world. But before I go through the life of Volgaris, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you get a notification every time we post a new video in the series. It is a scam when you don't allow everyone to operate on fair terms. We are the Roman Hoods of sports betting. We take something back from the rich bookies and enable our customers to beat them instead. From the early 1990s to the early 2000s, Bob made betting look easy, exploiting inaccurate odds on NBA points totals, with a winning rate of almost 70% at one point. He found a flaw in the bookies' prices, where the total points for the first and second half of NBA games were exactly half of the predicted game total. Now, as some of you may know, in basketball, traditionally, there are more points scored in the second half than the first half. This is because teams use more fouls and timeouts, resulting in further possessions and higher scores. Bob would take advantage of this edge, taking overs in the second half, especially when coaches Eddie Jordan, Byron Scott and Jerry Sloan were in action. This resulted in him staking over 1 million US dollars on any given day of NBA fixtures. So how did Bob get his start? Well, Bob's father was actually an avid gambler, and once finishing high school, he took Bob on a trip to Las Vegas for two months. While his father played blackjack, Bob spent his time in the sports book watching NBA games and learning his craft. Years later and fresh out of college, Bob put all of his life learnings and savings on one bet for the Lakers to win the 2000 NBA championship, who at the time boasted the likes of Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant. At the odds of 6.5, he placed $70,000 on the bet. Six months later, the Lakers lifted the NBA championship and Bob's sports betting journey took off. After five years of successfully exploiting second half totals in the betting markets, Bob finally hit the wall, losing one third of his bankroll in one month. He knew that he had to change his strategy if he was going to be successful again, and he did just that. He employed a more grinding style of betting, using quantitative data to make smaller bets on edges over a longer amount of time, similar to how the Trademate Sports software works. He then took some time off betting and employed a math prodigy who remains anonymous but is commonly referred to as the Wiz. Together they built a model called Ewing, an algorithm that simulates a game of basketball between any two teams and creates a projected score. After years of testing and adjusting Ewing, Bob returned to the betting arena in 2009 and crushed the second half of the NBA season. Volgaris has described Ewing as the greatest ever thing when it comes to sports betting. After years of betting on the NBA, Bob believed he could put together a better squad than any general manager in the league. So he took a break from betting to work as an advisor on player trades for an anonymous NBA franchise. But this venture failed after only five months, after feeling a sense of exclusion by the co-owner of the franchise. So back to betting he went, where his success continued through the use of Ewing, but he faced the same problem as a lot of sharp bettors face, the sustainability of his edge. His ROI was slowly decreasing year on year, meaning he would have to take an even higher volume approach to his sports betting. So back to the NBA world he went. After seeing Tony Bloom, who we covered earlier in this series, take over EPL side Brighton FC, he became inspired to own his own NBA side. Although he didn't become an owner, in 2018, he took on the role as Director of Quantitative Research and Development for the Dallas Mavericks in the hope of finding a statistical edge for the NBA franchise. And that's it for our video on Bob Volgaris. Please make sure you all like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you get a notification next time we post a video in this series. And also, if you want to read the written version of this video, I will post the link in the description. Cheers, guys.